guys welcome to Kyren's video quest log today I'm going to be showing you the quest redemption and we are starting in the tavern closest to the quest in this case this is a Wavecrest tavern in Carthos village for more information on the game itself or this particular quest check out the description below the video to start the quest after leaving the tavern we have to come up to this person Ursa select the top option twice and then we can enter the next zone which is Corthos Village I'm sorry Corthos Island now to show you where we're going because I will be speeding up my travel time part of the video we are going to be going over here to this flashing yellow door as usual this indicates where we need to enter our quest Now, there are many ways to get to this quest, uh, all just depending on how many monsters you want to kill in to an old order to make progress towards the Corthos Island Slay Slayer quest, so that's up to you. But either way, you're going to end up in the same place. We're going to enter the quest. And this first room that you kind of enter into really doesn't have anything you of note one of the laboratories in here, where so you can ago. actually just House continue on, you don't need to explore the room. The doorway ahead has been this door can be busted with awesome. just a few the either melee or ranged nice. weapon attacks. We're gonna come around the corner. No real anything of note here. You can go either direction and end up in the same place. And coming around this corner, you will see a couple iron defenders that need to be attacked and killed. So you have killed the first iron defender. There is another one up on the other side. If you're a ranger, sometimes you can get it, sometimes you can't. And we also have a... Oh, here he comes. He took some damage from that trap. We also have two traps. We have the one with the blade, pretty much right in front of us, and we have some poisonous gas over to that direction, or south. Uh, if you are a rogue, your spot to disable the blade trap is going to be right there, and then on the other side, there will be one on this corner right back here. Now, our spot check also revealed a secret door with a breakable and a valve. Now, this valve actually, if you notice, stop. Create, completes an optional portion, and it stopped the poison gas from that first hallway. So, we're going to grab our breakables. And then we're going to continue down the hallway that is now safe. But there is still more poison gas, so we need to do one more search check. Right here we've got another hidden door, and oh look, another valve! Who would have thought that? And as you notice, it completes our optional portion of the quest. Leaving us free to grab our breakables. And to safely proceed onward with the quest. Now, if you are feeling particularly daring and or just want to see if you're capable of doing it, these blade traps can be avoided by good timing and tumbling. But that is entirely up to you. So moving on, we come down the waterfall to another iron defender. And it might look like the path splits here, but it really doesn't. All you're going to find here left is a couple of breakables. Which, if you're going for that ransack bonus, good to know. Otherwise, no reason. To our right, we have more breakables. And you can also see a rest shrine up behind a gate that you seemingly have no way of getting to at the moment. 
So instead, we're going to have to open up this door and continue onward. Coming into this room. Okay, not really many options as far as which direction we're going to go. We've got a magical barrier here and a gate to our right, so we'll have to go this way. With energy. And we're going to kill the two iron defenders here. Now, if you have somebody that is capable of unlocking doors, you have two options at this point. Option one is you can open this door, which does not require lock picking, go down this hallway, and you can actually unlock this gate now, get the chest, and kill the two iron defenders. You can also wait until after the next part to do this, in which case the Iron Defenders will be disabled and you no longer have to fight them, but you can get the chest. Coming around, we have this gate here. This gate is locked. Uh, again, a rogue artificer or somebody with a block picking kit who has the skill could pick that. If you are not one of those things, the valve to open the gate is down by the rest shrine, which if you noticed was behind the doors we opened. So we've got our gate open, and we now have to flip I six valves in order to turn down. off the jets that are on Upon these crystals. The so we're going to go through. We've got two big valves the here in the front. The we have a valve on the front structure. side right here. You come around back. And come up the middle you've got a valve on either side you want to be very careful not to stand in those icy sprays they do hurt especially if you're of level Without and on elite after you've gotten all six of those valves you can destroy these crystals now, after you've destroyed the crystals if you look as you can see that magical barrier is now down and if you look down here, you can actually see these iron defenders are no longer active. So you do have the option if you can, can access that chest of doing it the easy way or the hard way. Uh, note, if you do not kill those iron defenders, they cannot count towards your conquest bonus. Now, one final just little fun little tidbit I want to show you. If you climb up these boxes, you'll actually come to the bottom of leather. And if you look up, there's some sort of magical barrier. This quest was actually redone for a new starting area when they redid all the starting quests. And that portion of the quest was left out of the redo, but the way to access it is still there. And that's actually what this portion down here is as well. So, back to you? what we can actually do and not what's what, what once was. If you come back here, you can talk to Lars, and this is actually going to start the final boss, which is basically six waves of Sahuagin who are trying to kill Lars. Lars can be buffed, he can be protected, oh, no. he can be healed. So, so if me. you are of level, Some make sure you keep an eye on him. Otherwise, you kind of want to be up front where you can you catch the Sahuagin before <laughs> they attack Lars. And you just need to kill them as quickly and as fast as possible. Hopefully without Lars taking too much damage. Watch for more attacks! It'll take more than that After about three or four waves, you do get cut a little break. I won't die that where it easily. takes a minute longer for them to come up. Mom. Among them has no health bar for me right now. That's interesting. Uh, if you need to, you can use the little bitty rest shrine behind his alchemy lab during that little break that we just had to heal up if it's needed. Otherwise, just keep, keep on going. And 
on the very last day, we will have a boss that comes up with the rest of the Sakawagan. And as you can see, the boss is down here. If it looks like your Lars might be getting into trouble, you just want to make sure you can heal him up and also attack the people who are attacking him before you attack the boss and stuff like that. As you can see, just the sheer numbers can get kind of overwhelming and kind of fast, but as long as you care for you can do it, you might need a higher level. When that's done, a chest does spawn attack. back here. It Perhaps is randomly generated loot, again. so you can just grab it. And you can then talk to Lars again. Go now. Tell to Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. With Hayden finally and that completes to the help, quest. The people of Corthos so you might can finally then win this finish trial. this quest. A man and to so turn it in, to an you would recall back to Porthos. Uh, of course, you can always run there if you want to be working on your Slayer for Porthos. If you haven't gotten the 750 yet, that's a good idea to keep working on that. But it's up to you. And then the person you turn it into is right by the entrance. She gives the same rewards no matter how many times or what difficulty you do it on and all except for this last thought spike are going to be the same sale price however you actually can't sell this thought spike so just go with one of the cloaks grab that to sell and you are done so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching in addition to these video quest logs i also stream via twitch.tv and you can find that information in the description below if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe.